Hey guys, welcome to Waste Not Wednesday. We go live every Wednesday at 10 a.m. Mountain Time and we take junk and things on the side of the road and forgotten projects and we finish them up because waste not, want not, right? We have been kind of neglecting a few projects in the garage that needed to get finished. Neglecting sounds like a nice word. We've been completely <laughs> ignoring them. <laughs> We've been completely ignoring a few projects in the garage. I think Caitlin's getting the text out. So if you guys have not signed up for our text messaging, um, make sure you do that too, because you will always not miss us painting junk. But yeah, this morning I had kind of a manic attack. Do you ever, do you know, what manic attack is my, I just start to get overwhelmed and then I start cleaning. Like I have two junk drawers cleaned out. I got the mudroom bench cleaned out and then I was going to film and I realized I couldn't film because the house was a mess and the house is a mess because the garage is a mess. And I was like, okay, how do I solve this problem? Paint we junk. take a day and we do all the repairs. So instead of a paint a palooza, it's a repair a palooza. And I'm going to paint some stuff. Because I too. feel like you can add palooza on the end of anything and it's more fun. It'll be, that means party. It's a repair party. Um, if you guys have any projects, feel free to pull them out and work along with us so we can get things done together. And if you guys need paint and products to get your projects done, you can pick those up at jamierayvintage.com. Um, we're gonna go ahead and get started. If you um, stick around though, we will update you on the craft kit. We showed it live yesterday, but I know a few people missed out on that, but we'll wait about 15, 20 minutes and show you um, show you what's up. Delissa says, Caitlin told me you got your little sheeps. I heard that. I'm actually like hoping to get through the Jamie shelf at the shop. This is the problem. Like this Jamie's behind on everything, Delissa. I'm like, I'm sure they're sitting there with everything else I need to deal with. And the shelf is now two shelves overflowing by the back door. So I'm going to get to those sheep today because I'm actually kind of excited to see them. All right, so on with the projects. This clock is probably one of the easiest ones we have. You just saw me take the face out. That's why I bought it. I talked about it in the Saturday thrift haul. I knew it was going to be easy to take the glass and the clock mechanism and paint this. It's just got, it's, it probably had like a knob or a handle, some sort of something up here in the top. And that's missing. So the only knobs I could find were these porcelain ones. I was hoping for like a wood knob or something. Oh, those are cute. But these are what we have. So I'm debating, do I paint it to match this knob? Or do I put this knob on there and paint it to match this knob? Or do we paint the knob and everything together? What does the face look like? It's, um, let me go grab the face. I have to, I have to see the face I just set I it make... aside. It's pretty plain. It's, it's kind of weathered. Odelia's on here. Odelia, are you guys um, on the cruise ship or not yet? Odelia is, uh, Odelia Rose is on a cruise with Grandma Rose. I told her it's going to be like Golden Girls. And she's like, Mom, it is. These are all my people. Um, she's having a good time with Grandma in uh, Tennessee. Okay. Um, that's kind of rustic looking. Let yeah. me see the colors in real life. I can't tell. Oh, it's going to be hard. I wish we could redo the face. So you, we can. We can just put numbers on you it. You know what? Or... Let's set this aside for a second. I'm going to see if we have that um, clock face from the brocant transfer. Well, I think I'm going to do this knob anyway, and then we can figure out what well, we're going to Well, I want to paint it first. Oh, you want to paint it before the knob? Yeah, All because right. I don't think I, I don't want to paint that shiny knob. I feel like this knob here is more conducive to our style. The other one's very bright and boho, which isn't bad. It's just not... Well, we typically definitely. I bought those right. at Anthropology roughly four million years ago. Rex, you put in your. I never use on them. Me, I need to do a de stash where Rex I sell all this stuff table. I don't use. He hasn't seen me yet this morning. I left and did some demo over at the cottage early, early before it got too hot, and so now he's like, "Hey, where you been, buddy? I missed you." Sorry, I didn't know you were over there chatting. So they probably got both of us talking at the same time. Oh, me on too. the mic. Same. Same thing. <laughs> Zeb actually is a little bit hard of hearing from years of power tools. It is a true story. Oh, no, that's too deep. So what about like completely just covering the face with this? Would that cover it or no? No, oh, that no. would be sweet. I like that. I just don't know if it's, or like florals. Like you don't have to have numbers on a clock. People know what it is. All right. <laughs> what did she say? Uh, they're waiting for their shuttle to get on the boat. I'm just proud that they got 
from the airport to the hotel and they got to the Grand Ole Opry last night. Doing all the things. My mom usually travels with like me or my sisters. So she's trying, and Odilia hasn't really traveled on her own. Okay, so what we can do is we can just completely recover the face. And my plan is to just do that. So I actually like this um, in the 80s and early 90s, and I'm sure other times and generations as well. It was really popular to, I mean, you know where 12 o'clock is on the clock. And a lot of clocks don't have, that. it just spins. And you're like, okay, that's where 3 o'clock is. And you just kind of know that it's like 3.30 or 4 or whatever. And you don't have so to have this? numbers. Oh, that one's cool. So the question remains, though, where's that I need knob? little pliers. I got out here to do all these repairs and I have no pliers. Uh, I'm trying to reach it. He's okay. Like, I don't know why I didn't just walk over there. All right. This knob matches her dress. Oh, that would be good. But then what color are we going to paint? That Should we I, paint this crockery? I was going to say, if you paint it crockery, show them so they can see. It's so, got some neutrals in there that it would play off from. This is from the seeds packet transfer. I, I don't know if you guys are tired of seeing us use it because it's like my new favorite. Who would get tired of that? I, I don't know. I don't know who those people are, but they might exist. You can pick them up at jamierayvintage.com. There's tons of transfers in that particular package. And I think I'm going to put this on the face to cover it all up. I'm gonna use this knob, which matches her dress, and then we're gonna paint this crockery so that way it doesn't compete with the really cool clock face that we have, and I think it's gonna be a good design. Okay, I'm I will work leave, on the face. I'm gonna leave you to, I'm also gonna Let's move, move that. this. That's in the way. This is a, uh, if we get to it project. It doesn't really need any repair, just needed some That could be sprayed Americana later. Anything that can be sprayed, we'll be spraying. Okay, let's see if there's any questions. Sally says, I'd live on a cruise ship if they'd let me. <laughs> they just feed you and entertain you. Um, do you we have this? You gotta watch to the this? pretty, all the, either you're on an ocean or they're on a river. They're doing a river cruise. So, Renee would die if she saw my drawers. They're so good, Renee. I have one drawer that I cleaned out this morning that's just for keys because. We lose keys a lot and Zeb likes to hang them in the mud room, but then they fall down and they get in the boxes of shoes and behind the bench. So that was a drawer. It's a drawer. It's like amazing. And then one drawer with just washcloths. Who knew? Who knew I'm like, could... this is how the rest of the world lives. Who knew that could even be a thing? Today I'm going to clean out the knife slash other junk drawer and I'm going to be a new woman. Okay, so this bunny we got a long time ago, and I think it could be really cool, but not with this paint job. Vicky said some of us just got our seed packet transfers. Vicky, you're going to be so addicted to the transfer. I can't wait to see what you do with it. All right, so this isn't going to cover completely, so I'm just going to center it on the face. And luckily, the colors kind of match. Um, does that look centered to you? Sure, looks great. I'm committed. So I've got my transfer on here. Are you stapling? I am. Okay. I'm going to do some stapling. Because I don't need these for an IOD transfer. Yeah, you do. You could get wild over there. <laughs> Watch out for the backer flinging in my eye. All right. Okay, the nice thing about these is they're just like this particular one is a solid piece. So once you get the top, you literally can just pull it off. Okay, Done. so these are... Oh, see, that one just popped off right there. They're not on very well. Someone wood glued them, but um, I don't know that they let it set up or the wood's got or the glue's gotten really old. So I'm going to add some mechanical fasteners and just nail these in. If you don't have a nailer, you could just hand nail some finished nails or something right on in here and it would be fine. I got my part done. You're all finished. Well, that no, was fast. I'm going to paint the clock. Delisa says, I must be in the air. I am decluttering. It's about to take me down. It, you know what? It's like an elephant. One bite at a time. And sometimes when I'm decluttering, oh, really? I like to do really satisfying, quick decluttering. Like those two drawers I cleaned out today took me, what, five minutes? Yeah. And I just made a pile, which was mostly Zeb's pile, which is actually all in a bag for him to deal with later. It's all mostly Zeb's pile. I am notorious for emptying out my pockets at the end of the day. And I never take enough time 
to leave time for cleaning. So I walk through the door, I dump all the tools. I don't even take them into the garage and I dump my pockets and you know, so I it's all my piles. I separated out the change. I think I made about $2 and 50 cents on the drawer clean out. And then some of the things just needed to go in other drawers in the pantry. And there was like a small pile of things that were mine that I took upstairs. That was done. Harrington state championship ring with all blinged out was in the drawer. I put it somewhere safe. That ring costs like almost $300. Hey, Connie, it's okay. We're just getting started. I split some of these little pieces of wood. I was not expecting that. So I'm going to have to do it a further repair on that. <laughs> Renee says she's amazed that I cleaned out those drawers. <laughs> Renee's my sister. So she knows all my secrets. You get to see her next week at my niece's wedding. So who do you want to come on with Zeb? For this, or do you want us to pre record the Saturday thrift haul? Who would you like to see? It'd be Eliza, would, yeah. is your, really your only option. Eliza, yeah, Eliza could do it. Um, Odelia's gonna be with me. Cooper, you did it once with Ty, but I don't know if he's working. He's working. Oh, he he's goes on back shift. to work Thursday. Or we could just pre-record it. Did you guys mind the last pre-recorded live video? We did that last week. Tammy says, any of the kids. Elle says, I always end up missing the things I throw in after I declutter. My point to the project is usually when I'm decluttering, I couldn't find those things that I threw out anyways because they were covered in clutter. So I feel like I'm still ahead. I actually started last week. I have a big black hole cabinet in my bathroom and I organized it with some clear plastic bins that I picked up at Costco. I'm not done, but only because I ran out of bins and it's been so great since I had it done because I like have pain medication, every cream in a tube, cold medication, my like nightly stuff that I take, my supplements, tummy medication, like I organized it not like super crazy and symmetrical, but just like everything that's like items in a bin and they're clear so I can see them. And I can also see what I need to order. Like we were completely out of ibuprofen. So I ordered some. Uh oh, can't be out of that. <laughs> I know it's not super good for you, but when you need it, you need it. When you when you got period cramps, man, you need that ibuprofen. So I split the wood. I said Cooper and Caitlin. Now that would be an eclectic mix. <laughs> Caitlin is r usually running the live on the other end. So that wouldn't work out unless somebody else was doing it. So my, my staple gun was too hot this morning. So I split the wood. So I'm just going to use some air dry clay, put some glue in there. It'll be fine. Brendan says, I need to clean out a drawer and find some secret stash cast so I can buy the new craft kit. The craft kit's so good. We'll show it to you guys here in a minute. Let me yeah, get this like clock painted. Six days. Yeah, we extended it. The 25th it. is when we're going to cut it off because we were a little late. You know, we, we had the design done and things, life happens, right? And so we were a little late getting everything we needed to to our stencil manufacturer. And to be honest, it takes me a minute to get inspired. Like, is that the whole deal? <laughs> Caitlin's really good about reminding me patiently she's pretty patient like that Caitlin would like stuff. to be done with the next craft kit as soon as the other craft kits done like she would like to do it but I have to have month. like brain <laughs> in my like space in my brain to do creative stuff and I just wasn't inspired I wasn't inspired and then one day I went and got a pedicure and while I was getting a pedicure I did all my research and I got my I what I got like so much stuff done and I got the craft kit like all the stencil designs done and over to the um, graphic designer that works for our manufacturer. And I was like, so when you need me to do design work, I just need a pedicure. And I feel like do a pedicure? that $40 pedicure has paid for itself because people are loving the stencils for this craft kit. Like some people are buying the craft kit just for the stencils and it's a good deal. They're cool. Kaylin says, I just keep on top of it. So we all do our part. It works out well. Occasionally, I remember stuff that Caitlin does not, and then I'm like proud of myself because <laughs> she's so. You're like, much look, better. I've already got this done. From, it was ready when you asked for it. Or, or I thought about something ahead of time. I'm like, look at me. I'm not just creative. I could also be kind of organized. All right, so I painted this in crockery. 
This is an all-in-one paint, so it'll just need two coats and it'll be done. We'll lightly distress it to bring back the dark and you can see it's gonna look so good with that transfer. Yeah, that, it's got case. enough neutrals in the transfer, it'll pull them out. And then that knob on the top is yeah, gonna Yeah, the knob's gonna nicely. look really special. Okay, so what I did here is uh, that split wood, I added glue, because if you don't, it's just gonna keep doing its thing and wood splitting. Wood does more for projects to stay connected than nails and screws. The nails and screws hold it tight while the wood dries. And then once that wood the bonds wood the glue. fibers, the, the wood, wood glue. glue, sorry. <laughs> the wood glue bonds the fibers, it makes a big difference. All right, so now that that's done, I will go ahead and let that dry. And we'll get this cute little guy painted up. Speaking of being organized, Caitlin, on Saturday, we need to pick four winners for sharing our videos on Facebook. So don't let me forget, <clears throat> because last week we pre-recorded, so we didn't have winners. And we have lots of good stuff to send people. We've been sending like stencils and decoupage paper for sharing, um, but we have like some paint that was like slightly mistinted we have some paint that got a little paint on the outside of the can some wax that was dented like slightly irregular products that i can't sell that we're going to be sending as happy mail so it's going to be good all right we have a whole shelf of happy mail stuff okay so when i got this this was i think it had something glued on the top because there is glue up on the top and this is just one of those like little legs you can get down at the hardware store um let me put this over here but the hole was off center so what i have is i have this little centering jig um i just got it off of amazon if caitlin wants to link that with our affiliate link she can what's for it you. called power it's tech. the power tech center finder and what you do is you have something Hold around on. let me get centered okay <laughs> give me that back. <laughs> so it's got Thanks, a wide Caitlin. side and a narrow side for smaller stuff and it basically just helps you center and then you can just take your pencil and mark and then you go the other side and mark and you can do as many marks as you want and you just run it around there and if you want to do the wide side so you can get all the way across you can um but this they make different sizes this one will do up to like a six inch um to the center uh, but I, I love it. It's just a quick, easy little jig to help you find the middle of round things. Whoever made that really could have used that. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, the bunny is drying. What can I do for you, sir? Oh, the bunny. The bunny's pretty much dry. I do mean, you want me? I have the crockery out. So do you want me to finish that nativity I started this morning? You can. Touch does it, it need anything else over or here? Or does it just these? need dark wax? I think it just needs dark wax. But you can do. I can paint my little um, pitcher. So this is ready for paint. I mean, the glue's just on there under the air dry clay. Well, the question remains. Here, I'll sand it and you can paint I, it. Can we get rid of these? You're going to get rid of those yeah. things? Okay. I don't like I will. I will pull those what off. What color should I paint it? I don't think crockery is the jam for that. I'll get right back to this in a second. <laughs> we got to keep Jamie busy. If I'm not busy, I just sit there and read comments and yak at people. I mean, it's not... That's forced. also fine, but... We got a lot of projects we need to get done if we're going to get to the garage clean out. I'm going to park my car. Which in the inspired garage. this. What <laughs> also inspired it is this morning, Zeb went to go work on demo with Tyrell for like an hour and a half. And Jack had, um, Jack had football practice. And for two days, my keys have been locked in the Land Rover because I forgot my purse in there and Zeb locked it. And Zeb took the Ranger. So I had to drive Odelia's car, which is disgusting. No offense, Odelia, if you're listening, but it's dirty and I could hardly see through the windshield. It's kind of embarrassing. And I feel like that all could have been resolved if either Zeb had answered his phone or the Land Rover was parked in the garage so we don't have to lock it. I was using power tools. I can't be relied upon to hear that or feel that vibration. <laughs> so there's my story. I need to clean my garage so I can park in it so that way I don't have to lock my keys in there. All right, I have no Americana, so... Blue um, Hills you, what's this right here? It's Blue Hills. That was a really long story to say, I got to get my crap together. I All need right. a paintbrush. Now okay, I so I have Blue out. Hills mixed with gray skies because I don't have any Americana out. These, these little wood plugs are making this rabbit have some really beady eyes. And these hearts are great for mouth and, and cheek whiskers, but they also have to go. 
maybe. The sister gifts. I draw so much inspiration from you both. Thank you for sharing all your tips. You're welcome. You like my tip about cleaning the garage so you can park in the garage so you don't have to lock your car so you don't lock your keys in the car for two days? So usually in the spring, the garage <laughs> is cleaned out enough, but we've just been way behind on it. And now it's gotten to the point where, like, Jamie hasn't even parked this year one time in the garage. I've never parked my new car in the garage. I'm actually the last car we had before that never made no, it. No, the Jeep made it in. The Jeep from Mother's Right at the beginning, yeah. Okay. It's fine. It, it is what it is. The good news is, though, like, my car is clean. Zeb's truck is dirty. But Just on my, the outside. It's the muddy. last few cars I've had, I've kept very clean. And I, I used to have a really gross car. And then one day it hit me, like, what a blessing it was to have a nice car after years of struggling and having older cars that didn't run well. I'm like, I need to be respectful. So I, the one thing that I'm pretty good about keeping clean. All right. That's, I mean, you're going to get some texture where the cheek was because it pulled some wood it's, fibers out. Okay. So this is blue hills mixed with a touch of gray skies. Again, this is the cottage color. So it's got a built-in sealer, which is great because this thing is going to be kind of a pain to paint. So I don't want to have to seal it too. Renee says, I want my garage back. The struggle is real. I mean, we don't have any storage units and most people in the business do. So I feel like I'm okay, but I have crap everywhere. <laughs> But we're going to get on top of it. And then as soon as the cottage is finished, we are going to get my studio done. And that's going to be amazing. And if the cottage goes long, I may have to take a pause and get my studio done. Because it doesn't have to be like 100% finished. It just has to look good on camera. So I just need to get a wall finished, a table to work on. And only that square needs to be organized. Everything else can be shoved to the side. Okay. So this is longer so i'm just going to put this little point on the back nancy says i don't even have a garage see we got to take care of our garage because nancy doesn't even have one i also need to clean my pantry because my niece desiree has bought two houses without pantries and she's always like jealous that i have a pantry and the pantry we have here is actually it's cavernous pretty fantastic like when we de designed this house like if I got to sweat and be a con part-time construction worker on this house, I'm going to get the pantry of my dreams. And it is pretty good. Renee says, I had the garage for three years and then hubby threw his crap. <laughs> uh, that is a struggle. The thing is that Zeb and I are equal amounts of crap throwers. So we can't like throw too much shade at each other. We're both kind of organized and also kind of creative. So it happens. I will include some of the garage cleaning, much to Zeb's dismay. Oh, it's fine. On the, it's not fine. Zeb hates it when I show our messes. Um, on Friday's video, so make sure you guys are hitting subscribe and turn the notifications on so you don't miss that. That will be our furniture Friday. I'll probably paint a piece of furniture, but it's also going to include some cleaning inspiration. So this is a little trickier finding center. I'm just making a bunch of marks, and I'm going to find pretty much where the closest one is because I don't have a center um, gauge to make something this big on the center. Sherry says we're giving her strength to pick up a paintbrush after a year. It's therapy to pick it up. Way says if I win the lottery tonight, I will buy you both a car and truck. <laughs> Thanks, Way. We have maybe just pay off the ones we have. We have a good one. I love my car that we have now and Zeb's truck He's actually thinking about, we're going to have to talk to our accountant because there's tax implications, but we're thinking about possibly selling his big one ton and buying an older one ton because now that we have, Zeb got a brand new um, Polaris Ranger crew cab, North Star. It's a very nice ATV and we use it to go to Home Depot. We use it to work at the shop. Like unless I need to, to haul to a bunch of lumber. Well, I realize I've had my pickup almost a year. I've only put like 3,500 miles on it. Yeah. So we mostly drive my It only SUV. makes dump runs and big furniture pickup runs. Yeah. We mostly use my SUV and the Ranger because my um, Land Rover is definitely a work vehicle. It's, it's a workhorse. Okay. Way says, I have so many stencils. Can you show me how to hang them? Yeah. We will 
way, if I could remember, I was thinking about possibly Thursday doing like another shop tour, maybe Thursday next week. I'll show you how we have ours hung at the shop, but I can kind of explain it to you and maybe it'll make sense on your end. But we bought pants hangers from Walmart. Um, they have some that come in like a 20 pack and they also have a little hook on the front of the pants hangers. So we use the pants hangers to hang up the stencils and then we put the little stencils because they have a hole in them on the hook. So you can fit like three stencils per hanger, one front, one back, one little one on the hook. Um, and then I guess once you open them, then you might have to put like one of those plastic hanging tabs. You can buy them. They're like the ones you use to put stuff on displays um, and put those plastic hanging tabs and you can hang them from that. But yeah, you can use pants hangers and then you can just hang them all up. That's how we have them at the shop. Or you can buy a um, like a tool cart and store them in there. That's a little bit more difficult because then you got it. They're kind of all mixed together. All right. So if you've been watching me fiddle around with this, this is this was like a little charger plate or whatever you want to call it. Decorative plate. It's wood. Um, and then this was a pedestal and then this is just like a coffee table leg from Home Depot. Um, and this is some sort of round that they probably also got from the hardware store, but we're going to, we're going to do like a little thrift store marriage action here. I now pronounce you plate and candlestick to be forever known as a pedestal. Yep. You may now <laughs> glue the project. It's time. It's time for the glue. You can seal it with some glue. It's also time to get your safety glasses back on oh. for just a second. Okay. The, does any of your daughters like wedding dresses? No, Odelia is pretty picky and Eliza is um, Eliza's going to wear my wedding dress. We're just kind of altered because no, we're Eliza's about 14, size. so we're not worrying about that yet. <laughs> that is also true. Um, but way, do you follow Dion from the Turquoise Iris? Because she paints wedding dresses. So you might could see if she needs some for paint projects. Thanks for the super sticker way. Um, the dream is buying stuff and not having to hide it from your husband. The garage is nothing. No, Zeb's an enabler. I, I'm like, how come you didn't get that? Why didn't you buy more? We could sell that. You gotta buy stuff to make money, which he's not wrong. But sometimes I'm like, I can't buy that. I have nowhere to put it. We also have like a bunch of little boys coming over to for a, a and I gotta get the birthday art party on done. Friday and I have to bake a cake because Jack likes my M&M cakes. So there's that. Not that they're going to be going through our house, but the main living area. They always inevitably do. Jack will run them up to his room or whatever, you know. Yeah. His not finished room. Yep. <laughs> Maybe I'll get that done this evening after the cleaning. In all of our spare time. We'll get it. Whatever it is. Whatever happens. It'll be more than there was before we started. There you go. So it's always progress. All right. What do you guys think? Is that, That's is so that a cute. win? I now pronounce that project repaired. Now we got to paint it. <laughs> All right. I'll paint it. So what color do you want me to paint it? Do you want me to just paint it blue or you're, do you want... It looks slightly the... crooked. Is that me? <clears throat> um, so it could be slightly crooked. The charger isn't actually flat. <clears throat> oh, okay. It's fine. I'm going to run with it. Okay. So this... I tried to level it, but... You can, let me see if I can get this to focus. Vicky says you did a great job packing her order, but could you have added a little something extra? Maybe next time. We did ship somebody bought like four bowls and I actually had five and we shipped an extra extra bowl to somebody last week and she emailed Caitlin. Um, I have an extra bowl. <laughs> well, I'm glad it arrived alive, Vicky. Is there that, a, that's the goal. Is there a certain kind of Gorilla Glue you use that doesn't bubble or expand? I always make a mess. So oh, yeah. construction adhesive, not the expanding glue. So I actually, I, I do not like that expanding glue. It ruins all my projects, expands, gets all over the place. Makes it's it such separate. a mess. Like it keeps expanding for years. I mean, it's good if you've got a big cavity to fill, but I, I use Bondo for big cavities. <laughs> So we just use their um, construction adhesive. And they have regular wood glue too that doesn't expand. All right, so I'm just, this this had a sharp lip from the mold um, from the, the moment it was born and manufactured. So I'm just taking some 220 grit sandpaper 
and they sending were, the sharpness right on off. Of Monica it. loves the little vase. Is it milk glass? Yes, it is. It's from last week's thrift haul. I don't think this one's sold yet, um, but it just had a couple of chips, so we're just sending it smooth. <laughs> Everything that we're painting, if you guys are like, hey, that's really cool, it's not sold yet, it's on jamierayvintage.com under Saturday Thrift Haul. If, if we are successful and clean everything out, by the end of the week, we should have everything updated with no photos that aren't on there that say will be painted. It like should all be updated. That doesn't mean that I might not forget a few. Sometimes that happens. <laughs> but I try really hard to, as I finish projects, get it done. This looks like a Peeps. It's getting there. Now that it's blue, it just looks like a blue piece. Now do some yellow on it and you'll be golden. Probably not painting this yellow. We All don't right. even have a yellow in cottage colors. Some of these repairs are really easy. I just wanted to kind of show you guys the, because a lot of this is sometimes behind the scenes. We show stuff and it's on a live stream and I'm like, hey, I'm going to fix this. And then, then you never get to see the repair. Way we will let you know if we ever make it to New England. Zeb really wants to get to that side of the U.S. <laughs> But I'm like, the well, the tickets stuff. are the same as just going to England. So we just wanted to go to England. That's the old country. I almost got this bunny painting. If I was spraying, I'd be done by now. The problem is it's roughly 2 million degrees outside. Not yet, but it's soon. It's not been that bad. I can't complain. After it was going only to 100 Arizona, the one day, and then we got cloudy yesterday, and it was only like 92. After going to Arizona, I feel like that has really put my life into perspective in the summer. I'm like, I will no longer complain about the heat. Well, and we're from Arizona. We know it gets hot down there, but it's different when you aren't living in it every day, and you're like, oh, oh Well, man. we get snow here, so I just feel like it's unfair that we have so much weather that's hot. Okay, no longer feels like it's going to cut my hand. Good to ship that out. Okay, what what next? I don't know. I'm still painting a bunny. Okay, so this piece here, awesome little piece, um, but Iowa is predicted to be 110. And here's the thing with Iowa, you guys got humidity. Oh, that's that's like so hot. that's like 140 degrees for me. Like I be, being a Western girl, I am such a baby with the humidity. We call, we call it humidity because it always gets sweaty. <laughs> It's like a family joke. And we always seem to be working in it. Like we can't ever just go and be well, in it. We're always it's summertime. in it. Like we have a project if we're in the South for whatever reason. Planning on going to Alabama for Christmas because it's not humid. Well, not as humid. Oh, it's still humid? Well, it's cold <laughs> yeah. humid. The moisture doesn't go away when it gets cold. Listen, I don't know how this humidity thing works. Here it's either dry or it's raining. There's not like an in between where it's dry, but it's still raining right. off your body. So real quick, this has a big crack and it was all one piece of wood and I need to make it one piece of wood again. Are we, we're not painting this, are we? I was going to dry brush it. Oh, okay. So if I don't clean up all my glue mess. I mean, that would be great if you did. And then this is just a little clamp. Okay, let me, That's still drying. Let me get something wet. So, Americana or crockery? Speak now or forever. Hold your your peace. I think that'd be good, Americana, with the black and the tan. Oh, no, well, it's Blue Hills. Sorry, not Americana. Blue Hills. Blue Hills with a touch of gray skies. Blue Hills. Diana was the first one to comment, so she's the winner. Sherry says, I helped pack a young couple who moved from Washington to Vermont. I still have a lot of their boxes. They're in Vermont underwater, horrible flooding. Oh, that is, that is so sad, especially a young couple, because when you don't have a lot, the things you have mean so much. Maybe they're a young couple with a lot of stuff, but I just know when we were first married. We Every, got everything creative. was... Pretty much thrifted or hand me down or well that's still the same. <laughs> Nothing's changed. I do feel like because you can order stuff so easily now, I do wind up getting buried in stuff. That's why I wanted to organize. Like I don't buy new stuff except for like household goods. It's like I'm going to the thrift store and buying first aid stuff. But if I'm not organized, I wind up buying like 42 things of the same thing. Like I have four half open tubes of Neosporin. 
And yet before I organized my bathroom, I couldn't even find one. I always had to go to my mom's room because my mom is organized because that's literally what she does. She does the laundry and she keeps her little, she has a little guest suite, her little casita here at the house and she keeps that thing clean. So if you need band-aids or first aid, she is your girl. She keeps telling me to put band-aids in my side of the house. And I'm like, but then I won't know where it's at. All right. So we've moved from wood glue to um, super glue. And we got lucky. The propeller for this was down in the plane. It's just broken off. So I'm going to hold this here for a sec. Patricia says we now have awesome high-end stuff. Well, thanks, Patricia. We try for high-end decor on a budget. It would be easier if we just ordered everything new from like wholesale and then just had a few antique items sprinkled in, which is what a lot of antique stores are. But I like to have like I like to have people come in and find things that they're not gonna find anywhere else because I made them or Zeb made them or they're painted or whatever. Okay. We got lucky in that adhered without too much that went quick. So I'm going to just delicately set that over there. It looks like it will spin freely. So we're still good on that. Delissa says she's exhausted from organizing. She needs a professional. I feel like with professionals though, then they don't always know exactly. I like to organize it because I like to see what I have. Well, also I feel like they set you up and then they're done and it looks pretty and nice and everything. And then you're like, but now I need to, find a place to put all this stuff that they piled over here in the garage or maybe get rid of. I also feel like for me mentally, when I organize stuff, it helps me be very selective when I buy it, especially when it comes to like junk. So like when Zeb and I are cleaning out, we finish projects. That's how we clean rather than getting rid of a bunch of stuff or selling it super cheap. Cause we didn't have time to deal with it. We force ourselves to finish the projects. Then in the next six months to a year, we're really selective about what we actually accumulate because we realize no matter what, we're finishing that project, we ain't throwing it out. I'm not to say that we don't ever just get rid of stuff. That does happen. But we're pretty good about just getting it done. How much would the airplanes, our video glitch when you showed them? Oh, our sorry. video, our video got really blurry there. And so when I was, cause it was pre-recorded, I don't know why it was like a three minute gap. And we mostly just talked about these planes and what kind of plane they were. And, um, and then I, uh, I cut that out cause it just, it looked bad and it wasn't like essential information. Like you could see the planes. Um, they, I think they were both $4 each. I think, wasn't one four and one was two or something? Maybe, I, I don't know. They were under $5 each. Let's go with that. I don't remember how much we're selling them for, though. I think they're under 30 or right around 30 Yeah, I looked them. I think we looked them up. Yeah. People, somebody the other day is like, wow, your prices have gone up. On certain things, my prices are more expensive because I'm actually spending time to research what the value is. And before, I'd just be like, oh, that's this, that's this. But I have found that there's been a lot of times that I've way undersold stuff or I painted something that I should have left as is. So I'm trying to be more methodical and cautious. We still typically will price less than what you can find on eBay and Etsy just to be like competitive. Um, but I charge, we charge items based off of what they're worth, not based off of what we pay. This is just a canning lid. I'm missing one of the propellers. So I'm going to see if I can cut it to shape and then glue that on too. We will see. We will see how this adventure goes. This doesn't come off as well on the countertop as the DIY paints. If there's any no, on the be, You got to use caution that. that yeah, I'm putting it on the sink because it won't stick to really the portion. It's not really water soluble. Yeah. Okay, this one, don't you need to repair this one? Oh yeah, hand that over. I'll just drop some glue in it right now. I'm gonna... It's got a little crack. You handed me open oh, up. Nope, there we go. And it's not wide. It's not a big enough crack. It does go all the way through, but it's not. Where can I go to order the craft kit? It's under subscription, Cindy. And then you can click craft kit. Um, Caitlin is on here. So if Caitlin can drop the link. Um, if she doesn't drop the link, I can find it for you. I've got paint on my hands, but I'm going to find the craft kit. So if you guys have missed out 
on yesterday's live video. The craft kit is um, how to paint fabric. We're gonna send you with two stencils, two one ounce samples of paint, a JRV stencil brush, which is the one inch, which is really good. And then you're going to get a towel with this stencil. And these stencils are exclusive to the craft kit. So you cannot get them unless you order the craft kit. So you'll get this towel and then this really cute apron. And then the stencil, I mean, obviously the stencil is to do this apron. So it's like a little half apron. So you get the apron, the towel, two stencils, two one ounce samples, and a JRV stencil brush. It's a really good value. And I think it's gonna be fun for the holidays. I was trying to come up with something that wasn't necessarily seasonal, but could be used for baking or making your kitchen cute, getting ready for fall, getting ready for Christmas. And even though this isn't necessarily Christmas, the colors are Christmassy, so it would be cute with it, like a red and white Christmas theme. Thanks, Caitlin. She just dropped the link to the craft kit. You can sign up for the craft kit for quarterly, which is less expensive. It's $42.95 quarterly, so you get billed every three months, or $49.95 for one time. And that does include shipping, which typically costs us anywhere from 10 to like 14 ish dollars per um, craft kit, depending on which one. Because sometimes it's less, sometimes it's more, but we don't change the price of the craft kit. We just cover it. Is that a model of a World War II bomber? So this is a Hellcat um, from World War II. And then this is from the, uh, the Royal Air Force. Um, England? World War One. All right, so this is glued. What do you want me to do with these? Do so yeah, the crack glue? the crack wasn't so bad that I could like split it open and get glue everywhere. So I just kind of forced it down into the hole on there or the crack, and then wiped off the excess so I didn't have like a bump. So that'll what, be ready to paint. Pretty what much do you anytime. think about painting a crockery and then stenciling a number on it? It would look a lot like a crock, I think, if you did yeah, that. I think the paint will adhere really well, and this has a a built-in sealer rated for outdoors. So I feel like that's a good idea. And it might, I mean, rated for outdoors, anything you put outdoors is going to get age and wear. It doesn't matter. Yeah. In this case, this is really porous. So this paint is going to soak down into the pot, which is great. Probably only going to need one coat, which is also great. You want to move your plane so I don't. Yep. I just this didn't want this to plane's done. Anything. The super glue should do its thing. I find so many uses for this crockery color, way more than I thought I would. It's just a great neutral. And if you mix it with the white linen, it makes the most beautiful cream. Well, look at it on this little baby Jesus. It just needs dark wax and it's good to go. That was part of the set the Sandy Nino. Is it Nino or Nero? Nino sent us. We've had that for a little bit. That, that nativity has been sitting in the mudroom because Zeb was going to paint it, and then I was like, well, if I leave it here, he'll paint it. I was wrong. <laughs> it's okay. I painted it. So we're good. Do we have number stencils? I think I have a bag. Of somewhere. Those. There's a bag over there somewhere. Somewhere. Careful not to cut yourself on these sharp edges. We're all going to win when I clean out the studio space at the shop because I have, like, duplicates of everything. Oh, yeah. So I'll de-stash and sell some stuff cheap because I don't need... A million of everything. Is there a paint a palooza today? Nope. There's just a repair. This is a repair a palooza slash paint a palooza. Now this is a waste, not Wednesday. Waste. It's wasteful to have projects that you never get finished. So I've decided at waste not want not. I'm going to get these done and sell them. Because sometimes people will buy things that I say will be painted, but sometimes I'm trying not to block. You guys still see if I put that up there. Uh, but sometimes they won't. And so if I get a lot of stuff painted and then show it off in the shop, usually we'll sell a ton of it. So that'll be good. Summertime can be slow. And so we try to stay on top of things. And then it gets really busy in the fall when the kids start back into football and cheer, which we already have two boys already starting football practice. And Eliza goes back to cheer next week. No, she has FSY next week. So she's got like a week and a, a week day. and a half, and then cheer starts. Do so we like to be proactive? Enjoy the last bit of summer, but also really get ahead of the game. So that way we're not stressing when we're trying to enjoy 42 football games a week. <laughs> it's really, <laughs> I the love best. football season. Yeah. We get all the cheer because. 
cheer and football are pretty much synonymous. Yep. Um, and then we also get all the football games. And this year, Redrick is in the seventh grade, which means he's probably going to be paying it more like junior high and high school fields. Uh, so we'll actually get to sit in bleachers. And it's kind of fun. All right. So I'm just kind of rounding the edges with this sandpaper. This was pretty sharp, but I think I can dull it down enough that it won't be. It's going to be thin metal anyway because those canning lids are. I mean, if you got a small repair, like, and you could use this to even, like, wrap um do like cutting board repairs if you've seen us do that same same concept but really nice thin metal that molds easily around stuff um these old canning lids this one had a dent in it um and the seal had already been broken so you know it's i don't even know why it was in the pantry <laughs> so if you guys are looking for those same kind of towels you can typically find them online um at a, or at a kitchen store they're just flour sack towels with a red stripe when we are finished with the craft kits and we have shipped them all out i will count up how many aprons and towels i have left so if you want to buy extras to make christmas gifts especially if you've already got the craft kit then you guys can buy those for me i got a good price on them but i had to buy like 240 or 220 of them and typically we only have about 150 craft kits this craft kit it's popular though, so I don't know how many I'll have left over, but I will get those listed, just the extras, when we're done. Jamie, do you need to paint the inside lip of those pots so you don't see the old finish? No. If you look at a crock, I would, sh let me show you. They're, they're dark inside, typically. That, they are typically not, they're only finished on the inside. That one's brown, but it's got a big fiddle fig and I can't lift it. Well, that, that crock's painted on the inside. All right, I guess it's just this one. I can paint the inside. Will it make you guys happy? It'll take about a half an ounce of paint and two minutes of my time. We need to finish a project though. Hold on guys. I gotta get this clock painted and then I'll circle back to that. I finished the plane, it's done. This needs a magic eraser. Some kid drew with a marker on it, but. That's all right. I have a magic erasers in bulk at the shop. I bought the knockoffs because we use them a lot. Do you see? I got my focus face on. Sorry, guys. Yeah, me too. I'm trying painting. to bend tiny little pieces of metal to fit around this. The bottom of this, so it looks What's more left finished. What's of this propeller? All right. Bring the bottom's only food. getting one coat, though. If you flip it over and you see it's a little bit paint streaky, you'll know that at least I painted it. Don't paint the inside of the planters. Any guesses on shipping for the kits? So the ship, the kits always ship the last week of the month. So that'll be next week. If you order like, like from yesterday to like the 25th where the cutoff, that could happen the following week because it does take us a minute, but we will, we ship in order of receipt. Eliza is actually starting to Actually, did she go to the shop? Yep, she's there right now. Eliza is actually working at the shop today. She's covering the front desk so Kazaya can ship in the back without stopping. And she's going to be pouring all the paint today and packing all the kits because we do like a paint pack, we call it, and we always put the paint and the brush together. So she's going to put the two paints and a brush and bubble wrap them and tape them. So that way, all I have to do is just slide everything into... Um, the kits. The, the rest of my stencils should have arrived yesterday or are coming today. 
And then we might have to order a few more stencils and paint pots because we've sold, this kit's been really popular. But we're gonna fill all the existing orders first and then we'll get the other ones done. So if you order from now till the 25th, you might not get yours shipped until like the first few days in August, but we'll get them out. But if you've already been billed, we'll get them shipped out before the end of the month. Was that Eliza I saw peeking in the video last week? Sure was. Kaziah and Maria were out of town. I'm going to heat gun this so we can move it along. And my girls stepped in and sh worked at the shop a lot, which is great because they both need back to school clothes. And I do give, oh, Dilly's an adult now, but Eliza does get a small budget. Uh, she's got like, she got like two weeks. Well, Odilia's an adult and she has a whole room full of clothes. And she hasn't changed sizes in a while. But Eliza already got her yeah, back to school budget grown. and spent it. So she's earning money for all the extraneous things she would like. I would say Odilia hasn't grown in a solid like four years. Four years. Not much. Leslie's vote is no more paint on the pots. Le Leslie Jackson has spoken. So we're good. If people, and Jackie too. I feel like Leslie and Jackie, man. And Eunice. <laughs> and Pam. And Diana. Well, there'll be a Christmas themed one. So we don't specifically do holiday. We did a Christmas tree once, the very first yeah. craft kit. We might do a Christmas one, but typically it does go with the season. Like uh, we did this one. It's not fall, but I just thought baking, so apron and towel. So we'll see. I can't tell you ahead of time because literally every craft kit is what I'm inspired to do. It depends on what's trending. It depends on what I'm liking. So it could be Christmas, but I try to be mindful of like everybody and have options in there in case they're, they celebrate Hanukkah or whatever. All right, I'm gonna let that dry up. I've been, I know I've been spending a long time on these little planes, but to send them off with broken propellers, like that's what the plane is. Teresa says she got her milk paint order and she's so excited to use it. We're getting all, we had a, a milk paint sale a while back and we began all those orders out. There's a few people that had Sweetie Jane samples that we are waiting on because our manufacturer sent us a slightly mistinted color. Which is why we have mistinted. So if you had a Sweetie though. Jane sample and yours hasn't shipped, now you know why. But those are coming quick because our, I don't know if you guys know this, but the milk paint is a woman owned business. It's my friend, Sasha. She makes that and she lives here in Utah. So it doesn't have to travel very far to get to us. And a lot of times, like with this sale, I literally just drove and picked it up. We didn't even bother to ship it. Because her mom lives closer to me than her workshop. And so I just went to her mom's house and picked it up. Okay. JB Weld Epoxy coming in hot. Vicky says, when do you put fall and Christmas in your shop? I can't put fall in right now. I can't do it. So fall happens in August and Christmas usually starts in September. There's a little overlap. I know there's places that do it way early, but I just, when it's a hundred degrees outside, like people aren't thinking sweaters and lattes. Although we did almost sell out of those discounted cardigans. We have a few left. <laughs> I think that's just because they were such a good deal. All right, so the super glue is going to hold it in place delicately and dry very quickly. And now I've got epoxy because I don't want this coming off. Actually, I need to stir that a little better. Thanks, Caitlin. She dropped the link to the terracotta pots. If you like those, they're going to just get a number on them, maybe lightly distressed, and those will be done. How about more Halloween stuff? So we do have Halloween decoupage paper. We don't do it for our quarterly craft kit just because not everybody celebrates or decorates for Halloween. So we, tr we try really hard to be conscious of that. In the future, though, we might have like... We might do like a little... Uh, we don't have a rice paper that's Halloween, and I've got some fun ideas for that. Yeah, we might do like a vintage Halloween-inspired one. I'm also working on trying to source some larger rice paper because the printer can go bigger and, and offer another size in some of these things. And we do have some designs coming out soon, some new 
we'll call them a fall release. I don't know that they'll all be Christmas or or, the, or that around there, but it would be for the fall. Um, and but we got to show the retailers first what we've decided on, and and I have a couple that I'm like on the fence on, and see what they like, and then we'll release it out to you guys. And that we're gonna do that live stream probably this afternoon. Maybe tomorrow. We'll see. I was like, we do not have all of our designs finished. I have quite a few of them ready to go. It won't take me long because I can just print a uh, sample like right now because it's just upstairs. Let's let's not today. Let's can we just clean the garage today? We'll see. It's going to be hot. I might need a break. JB Weld and Bondo is the only way to go. JB Weld does stink to high heaven though. Like our entire so house is going to stink for a hot minute. All right, we'll open the doors. Yeah, but Bondo is like chemically smelling. JB Well smells like something died. No, it does. <laughs> All right, so that's done. Magic eraser where someone markered on the wings. I'm going to shape this and paint it black so it matches the other prop. That is so cool. But we'll get it. We'll get it done. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Did you ever think you'd grow up and fix toy planes as part of your job? Me? Yeah. <laughs> the question is, did I ever grow up? I mean, do we we all have an inner child, right? They say connect with your inner child. I feel like you're doing that today. All right, I'm getting there with this clock. There's a few spots that need like an extra coat because it's a little streaky. But how much was this clock? I feel like it was a it good was two dollars because it was missing that top. Yeah, it was yeah. missing the top and. I don't know. It's two bucks. So, like, if you can fix a few things, you can get a better deal and a bigger profit margin on your thrift flips. Time wise, I did not realize that that was taking me that long to repair all those things. Yeah, it's ten fifty. I did repair everything I brought out, though. We might go about fifteen minutes over just to bring these all home. I did. I did repair everything that needed fixed. I think this was all of it. There might be like one or two more things in the garage. Where'd that bunny go? Is it dry? Um, is, probably. Are we doing anything on it? No, it just needs to be lightly distressed unless you want to put something on it. Do you want to do like an all over floral stencil? On, stencil? Can you talk on its face? Can. I don't know. What do you think? Let me go see if I can find one real fast. Okay. Do we have 220? Is that what that sandpaper is right there? Yep. Okay. Just want to. Uh, Caitlin says a stencil with a design would be cool on it, like a floral pattern. Caitlin says floral. Is the peony stencil in there? I have something big floral right here. I don't know what it's called. You're like, I don't know what actual. I hate it when the paint pulls up in the corners. You have to like pull it out with your brush. Otherwise it takes 400 years to dry. This is mostly dry. I'm going to let this cool down before I distress it. If you do use a heat gun like I was doing, make sure. Oops, I chinked that up. I took some of that off. There we go. Had a little notch out of the top. Anyways, make sure it's cool before you distress it. Otherwise, the paint will just peel off. And also keep your heat gun moving because this does have a built-in top coat. It will bubble on you. Are we out of weathered wood here? Yeah. What did you say? Is oh, that gray is sky the is not going to be quite dark enough against that bunny? What about, give me some white linen and I'll make you a cream. Por favor, mi amor. And there might actually be my cream mix in there. I'm, I'm not sure if I used it all. We'll let this cool down and we'll distress it. This one is going to be good. If you're just tuning in, where's my face? This is the face of that clock. So as soon as Zeb's done stenciling, I'll have him assemble this back together. Hey, Deborah, good to see you. Vicky says she loves the peony stencil. And Cheryl says it looks like the peony uh, floral to him. 
when it comes to flowers and things, that's like, yeah, that's, that's good. Okay, so we've got our hole here for our mechanism to go in for this clock. Seb's going to stencil that. I'm going to find numbers while you're stenciling this so we can finish those pots and call them done. Okay. So this is a lighter mix of crockery and white linen. So it's not quite crockery, but I think it's going to show up good on this bunny. I go. If people could see what I just pulled out of that cabinet. You will see on the video on Friday, if you heard the crinkling. Thanks, Caitlin. She just linked the cottage color paint. I'm just going to look for some numbers, chunky lowercase, small alphabet and numbers. I keep my little um, stencils and baggies and then I just label them. All right, that'll dry up soon and be out of my way. Do you think somebody's going to buy both pots? Because I kind of would like to do... Like a one and a two? Like a four, because I feel like that's probably... If that was a crock, don't you think that'd be like four gallons? Um, no, that'd be a number two. That's not a... You think maybe, a number, a maybe a number three. All right, I'll, I'll see if I can find a two or a three. I mean, not that it's actually a crock, but I'm trying to be mostly on point. The pots are both sold. Did they sell to the same person, Caitlin? Oh, same customer just now. All right. I don't think, oh, this is decisions. Like if it was me, I would want them to be the same number, but. I would do them both number three because those are three three. gallons each. Okay. I'm looking for the three. Those are number three Crocs. And then maybe you could even do like a little logo underneath. Mm. We have like a royal blue. Like a Croc. I don't have, I was going to do cream. Oh no, we need to do darker. Mm -hmm. We could do gray skies. Okay. That's right here. All right, let me, I'm still, sorry. I, what I, the smart thing to do with your stencils is to write on the bottom of them with a Sharpie, like what it is, like what letter it is. But I haven't done that to these. And I'm probably not doing it when I organize either because that's a time waste. That's something you do when, when you, you got, first open them. Yeah, when you got a show to watch. This is all alphabet. Oh, that's a B. Seb, I don't have a three. Oh, I gotta fix the camera. You can't find a three. I'm gonna look one more time. If I can't find it, we'll just have to do it off camera. I'm sure I have one somewhere. If not, I can open up a new package. Cause I would do that. <laughs> Which is why I'm gonna have a D stash sale when I organize my craft room at the shop. Like this one's on sale cause it has all the letters, but or all the numbers, but nine. <laughs> I have a four. Are you sure it's not a four? I mean, you could probably fit. Nancy Crip and Bob both pots. All right, Nancy, I think a four is good. It's going to be close enough, I guess. I think I was debating between three and four. I'm going with four. The universe is telling me it wants it's to be like a four. It's like 12 liters, which would be three and a half. Wait gallons. a second. Guess what? I've already used the three. It's right here. There we go. Three is Carolyn's favorite number, so three it is. Will you stencil it for me? I will grab you a <laughs> stencil brush. I gotta put my clock together. You do gotta put your clock together. If you need number stencils, you can pick them up at jamierayvintage.com. Commercial break. One of the things I do like is we have the lower, I think they're like the one inch letters and numbers that are all on the same sheet because they're so little. And I love that because I never have to look for them because you they're all together. You never lose those ones. Well, I have cut them off and separated them before and then lost them. Don't do that. Okay, there's a stencil brush. Just I'll, I'll do those in a sec. Okay, yeah. What Leslie is excited that I found it. Leslie checks. Lightly distressing this clock to age it up, give it some character. It was dark to begin with, so that's like a really great backdrop to this crockery. Oh, the inside lip is not. There we go. There we go. 
Vicky says do a two and a four. Well, I already found the three. And if they are the sizes of the, potentially the sizes of the pot, they would be the same size. Nancy wants two different numbers. All right. The Nancy has spoken. You're getting a two and a three. Um, Nancy doesn't care about the numbers. She just wants different ones. Okay. You got it, Nancy. Uh, and Diana loves the bunny basket. Yeah, I, it, it's much better now that it doesn't have like that. The coloration wasn't bad. It was just kind of juvenile. Very spring, yeah. That's a good word for it. Which is fine. If well, you it's probably like a, a little kid's Easter basket. No. You have like a little a kindergarten classroom. Seeing a little streaky dues here. This is the lovely thing about the one-step paint. If you're like, oh, I need to touch that up, you just like paint it and you don't have to seal it. Just paint it. The sealer's built in. It's perfect Zeb is right there are three gallon cro crocs yes we have had three gallons we have I don't think we have any threes right now but I have had them in the past a lot of three gallon jugs in crocs from what I found okay where's do you know how this goes back together I, I wasn't paying attention I can I put the top in you can um well or do we have to get the face in first? I need to screw that together. I need to drill a hole in the top because it's not the the bolt isn't long enough to go through. That. Oh, well, I just want to show people where did that oh, thing go? Not, oh, here it is. I don't know. I'm pulling together all your pieces here. Here's the. I'll stencil the pots. Oh no, you gotta... we had some shifting. That's okay. I fixed it. I'll get the idea. It doesn't go all the way through. What if you just put. Uh, adhesive in there like you could jb weld you could it won't come out then could just glue it Your, my shorts are cute they're from costco everything i own is from costco or jamierayvintage.com yeah i think i'm just gonna use jb weld here i have some here that's it's starting to set up uh nope it's too set up i'll mix some new stuff what do you think about owls and elephant stencils i mean it's not really my jam but we do have, I thought we had an owl in one of our mini packs. Do we not? Like the mini Halloweens? Yeah. Whoop, that's a lot of. Oh. Be careful. This I do. Load. Oh, be careful. You might get. Now there's glue. There's glue. I didn't know that you were using it for that. I wasn't paying attention. How does this <laughs> go on? I'll do it. I've done it before. There's glue. Line the holes up. It's not easy because the glue starting to build up. Yeah, I do like though that JB Well has lids now because before you used it and then it was like toast. We've had lids for a long time. Like the screw on lids? Mm hmm. No. Oh, well. I just never got that kind. Oh, well, that explains it. That explains it. Just kind of drizzle that on said hole. So I prefer the pouncing method with the cottage colors over the swirl method because sometimes it can be like built up in your brush, but not, but it's dry on the tip and it's thin enough. If you swirl, you pull some of that paint down and you can get up underneath your stencil. And Tempra says all her clothes are from JRV and Amazon. <laughs> yeah, I shop at Costco a lot. And then I obviously what I buy for the shop are things that I really like. So that's what I wear. I actually am so sad though. I bought probably $500 worth of in wholesale samples to try on to get some new stuff for fall. The quality was horrid. So I'm sending, luckily it's a company you can send them back. So I'm sending all the samples back today. And I have to go back to the drawing board because it takes me forever to find things I actually like that are at a good price. All right, that's drying. That's the conundrum, good price and good quality. Like it has to be a balance, right? Like I don't want to carry things that cost $400, but I also can't have something that just doesn't hold up well or doesn't look hang right. Like or, you, I, or you wash it once and it's or toast. Or it smells from where it came from. Ugh. It's 115 degrees in Texas. Okay, how did this go back together? If you tell me, I could probably figure it out. Um, so does that slide in? And then the box, 
and then the face. Oh, that's the... complicated. How did you get to the inside of the back? Pops right open. That's why I got it. it that easy. Easy, so the easy. glass and then the box. But now there's crockery on the glass. It was on there from being over here by the nativity. That's all right. I got it. And I can find washcloths because I cleaned my drawer out. Look at that. It's pretty sad when you feel fancy that you actually have washcloths in your washcloth drawer. I mean, we would put one or two in there for funsies every now and yeah, then. Yeah, I'd shove it on top of everything that was in there. But right. if it's clean and organized, when grandma gets back, my mom, if we show her, hey, this is the towel drawer, when she's doing laundry, because that's what she loves to do, keep it going, she'll put, she'll keep it full. She just won't do it if it's not clean. Nope. <laughs> like, sorry, that's a mess. I couldn't do that. She has, she has rules. Like she always gets mad because she does the boys' laundry, but they don't put it back up. And I'm like, stop doing their laundry. They'll wash it eventually because they'll go naked otherwise. Okay. Glass. Oh, I got paint on the inside that's wet. Thanks for sharing, Amy. Amy is a super sharer. She shares a ton. I actually think Amy has got happy mail before. I'm going to need to paint the lip of this too now that I'm seeing the inside of that. I'll do that off camera not going to be exciting dresses with pockets exactly everything with pockets i have a bathing suit we don't sell it but it has pockets does that focus yeah that looks good do you want to do the butt or just the face we can do the butt off camera i'll do the butt i'm not doing anything else well we're going to stencil those pots oh yeah i'll stencil the pots like first. what did you do for work today oh, i stencil a rabbit's bum so I put this in here after I get the glass in and then the face goes next. Is that, I, I don't understand. Or does this just, does this hold in this part back here? Put the face in and then close those. Oh, and then you put this behind it. Yeah. Okay. Got it. I can put that all. Actually, I need to put, hold on. I know. I'm trying to be productive on my own. You're doing so good. Zeb, can you hold that up so we can see the detail? Yes, we will hold it up again. Well, actually, I can do it. Hold the glass and the bunny. I'll block my face. There we go. Can you guys see? <laughs> That's the peony stencil. Available at jamierayvintage.com. Amy says, I have got happy mail before. That makes me happy. It makes me happy that you're happy. Um, Deborah says she's wearing her I Love Junk t-shirt. I think I wear I Love Junk about every other day. I have it in multiple colors. Nancy says two different numbers. I got a two and a three, Nancy. So we got you. We're going to, we're finishing up this clock because it's not on top of it. Cheryl says, it's funny, she has rules, no wash clothes in there, it's a mess. Well, eventually she still washes her clothes and they do hang them up kind of. Part of it, again, is us like being behind up projects. If they have their own rooms, Redrick will probably keep his room pretty clean and he will have his own room soon. And Jack will just always be a mess. I mean, different, you can yell at your kids. Different personalities. You can yell at your kids till you're blue in the face or you can just yell at them once a month. All right, pop that in. Pop That's what in? Smart. Oh, this goes in. Oh, and then this, I see. All right, I will paint the inside lip of this lid. Oh my gosh, you guys. Oops, I gotta touch that up. Look how cute my clock is. It's just lightly distressed. It's hard to get on camera because of the glare. That's so cute. So much better. Oops, my epoxy's not dry. Do I have more here that I can throw on that? Now, once it's dry, it'll be good. Do you have a sunflower stencil? 
Um, we used to, we might come out. That's a good idea. I'm going to add that to the list. Maybe. We used to, I'll come out retired. with a different one. Cause every now and then we have to retire stuff. Cause we, we still have like 300 designs. I mean, so sunflower, what did we say? We need an owl. Sunflower, owl, Way wants a lion. I'm not promising these are all happening, but I'm gonna try. And there was something besides owl. What was it? Are you elephants. still on here? Elephants. Putting this here so I don't forget. This is with my stencil manufacturer. She's to totally used to me. So what I do is when I think of ideas, I text them to her and I screenshot things to her. And then when I actually sit down to design, I just read my text. Oh, sea turtle. That's a good one, Lisa. That's so cute. Just a simple little three. We might just do like a random animal mini pack. <laughs> so it'll just have all the things that we're missing. Cheryl says she gave up on the, the room. So which number was that? Three. And Cheryl just shut the door of her teenager's rooms. Yeah, been. that's what we do with Odelia's. She's a sweetheart, but she's she can't keep it done. She can't Here's keep it two. clean. We're going to pass that problem on. And to they like else. my clock. Thanks. I love making mm -hmm. over clocks. I do. It used to be Zeb's jam. And now I've, I've started buying all the clocks. I don't even know who I am anymore. Gina says, I miss these shows almost every week and have to watch the replays. Bees seem like they're real popular right now, like bees and bees and honey. We do have some bee stencils. Bees. I think that Mara did those, so we'd have to redesign something completely different. Bees, honey, but you could do them with like a packaging type vibe, like a honey vibe. Bees, honey, and beehive. And we live in the beehive state, so that would be good. There you have it. Two and three. All and right. a bunny stencil. I'm going to distress this bunny too, but I did it in cottage color, so I don't need to uh, seal this. Is that the clock that had foam over the noisy part of the clock? I think so. The one that had like packing peanuts and stuff taped to the back? That's um, why. Yes, was... that is that clock. So I'm, I'm not doing that. Whoever buys it, they, it's up to their own discretion what they do. So there's that, that uh, floral all... Nice and crisp and focused here. Label and grain sacks in English. Got it. I do have some Croc stencils that are English. They're pretty good. All right, I'm going to have to go back and read the comments in here so I can get some more ideas. All right, guys. We are over time and too many projects to do, so we're going to take off. But let's let's put all our projects together that are together? complete. Like, look at what we did. This thing was floating around in the mud room for like a month and a half before I finally sequestered it to the garage i'm gonna do a cool stencil on this too but like on the top so crockery and blue hills are the color of the day this blue hills does have a little bit of gray skies in it if you like these projects you can visit jamierayvintage.com to get your own products or to buy our makeovers and if you like this video it would be a huge help for us if you share it out um give us a thumbs up and hit subscribe to jamie ray vintage for more diy bye guys we will see you on the next video, which usually is up sometime late Thursday, but definitely by Friday morning. All right. Catch you guys later. Bye-bye. Bye-bye now. That reminds me of that uh, toy story. Bye-bye. Bye-bye now. <laughs>